DIY jogger set. I'm going to go ahead and apologize for my voice because I am a little under the weather, but I wanted to come to you with the video because it's been a minute. So, I saw this at Sorella Boutique online and I just fell in love. I totally love it. It's super cute for fall. So, I said, hey, you know what? It looks easy to make or replicate. So, that's what I decided to do because it was about 80 bucks online. So, I was like, hey, I know I can make that for cheaper. So, if you want to see how I went from this... To this, <laughs> then stay tuned. Okay, guys, so let's get started. These are the things that you're gonna need you're gonna need a ruler, a pencil, scissors, and you'll need a crew neck and sweatpants. I got mine from Walmart. They were about $8 each, so a total of $16. Um, I got it in a size extra large, and it's just basically a fleece set where you can get anywhere. On the pants, make sure that they have the uh, drawstring part, as I'm showing you here, because that will be very necessary towards the end. Here, I am just measuring where my belly button is, and I'm going to mark it just like a little line and you're actually going to have to mark um, pretty hard with a pencil because it's hard to see so that's what I'm doing here and I apologize for my bare face <laughs> now I'm just going to mark how short I want the shorts to be so I'm gonna take it a little bit above my knees and I'm gonna mark it longer than I actually want them to be so just in case they come out a little weird I still have a room to you know cut more I'm going to place my ruler where I marked the, where I marked my belly button. And so I'm just going to draw a straight line straight across, take your time, and really put pressure on the pencil because it can be very hard to see. But you need to use a pencil because if you use a pen or a marker, um, it's not going to come off. So use a pencil, take your time, and make sure it's straight. And also, as you can see, make sure that you spread the shirt out as far as it can go because you want everything to be as precise as possible. So now I'm just going to cut along the line that I drew, which is very easy. Take your time because you want it to be straight. And in this tutorial, I'm not going to do um, the elastic band around the waist like how it is in the picture I showed at the beginning because I don't know how to sew but if you know how to sew that would be really really cute to do so yes just get the cut and take your time be precise <laughs> Okay, so now we're on to the pants. So what you see me doing here is I'm just making sure that the marks on each leg is the same length. So I'm just trying to make it as precise as possible. So that's what you see me doing here. And I'm just spreading it out to, you know, make sure that it's very precise. And I'm just harden hardening the um, pencil marking so that I can see I'm just marking it straight across just like how we did with the shirt. Take your time and press hard, honey. Hard. Now I'm going to cut across the straight line and remember to make sure that there are no wrinkles because if you don't do that, you're going to cut more fabric than you need to. So try to straighten everything out. Cut straight across and take your time because people can tell when you rush a design. So take your time, boo. Take your time. 
and you're going to do the same thing to the other leg. Alright guys, so here's the final look. You have the crop top with the cropped shorts. I also took out the drawstring from the inside and I cut it and tied it into a knot so that it gives it a more sporty look. I also folded the ends of the shorts to give it a finished look, but if you know how to sew, that would be even better. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. If you want to try it out, tag me on Instagram or Facebook and I will see you in another video.